Hey guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the truth about Sexy Red's instant rise to fame. But before we begin, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to my second channel, Truth Network, so you don't miss any of the new content I post on there. You can find the channel tagged in the description of this video. Thank you all. Now let's get right into it. Sexy Red is one of the most popular artists out now, being called one of the biggest breakthrough artists of summer 2023 by Billboard. Her song Pound Town turned her into an overnight star, gaining millions of views on TikTok and YouTube. Today, everywhere you look, you will spot Sexy Red's name, as TikTok loves her and the blogs can't get enough of her. She seems to have taken over 2023 with her beyond explicit lyrics and her proud ratchet behavior. You may be asking how exactly did Sexy Red get so big in the first place? Did she just get super lucky by going viral with Pound Town, which led to an organic rise to fame? Well, not exactly. Yes, her song going viral is what made her gain all this newfound attention, but her song going viral had nothing to do with luck. There is a reason it appears Sexy Red came out of nowhere, and it's because she did. As raw and ratchet it appears Sexy Red is, her rise to fame is very much calculated. Sexy Red is an industry plant, and by the end of this video, you would see exactly how she became a star and why they made her a star to begin with. Sexy Red started making music when her boyfriend cheated on her. To get back at him, she wrote and recorded a diss song towards him. Sometime after this, she would experience her first moment of virality when her song A Thousand Jugs, a parody of Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles, went viral. The song got her some attention, but nothing serious would come from it yet. Later that year, she would end up dropping her single called Free Smoke, while again not doing anything for her immediately. This song would eventually play a role in her current success. A few years would pass, and in 2021, an A&R, a part of a label called J Rebel Music, would hear Sexy Red's Free Smoke record, and she would get signed to J Rebel Music. J Rebel Music would get behind her and help push her music, and by 2023, after years of grinding, Sexy Red drops Pound Town and makes it big. If we listen to this story being told, then you might be asking how is Sexy Red an industry plant? Her growth seems organic. Well, this story isn't entirely accurate. This is what the labels want you to think. Sexy Red did get signed to J Rebel Music, but it wasn't in 2021 like they claimed. It was back in 2018 when she first went viral. I discovered this by looking at the licensing information on YouTube to her songs, which clearly states that J Rebel Music was already her label in her song Free Smoke that came out back in 2018. The very song they claimed to have discovered Sexy Red with, a song from three years before that wasn't even big. This is a label cover story made for all industry plants. In reality, she was signed back in 2018 and the record label has been pulling the strings behind the scenes making her the sexy red she is today. For example, if we look at her first video for the song A Thousand Jugs, you will notice a completely different looking sexy red from today's version. In this video, she looks completely unrecognizable as she's missing the many face tattoos that now cover her face, giving her her signature look. In the song, she also wasn't rapping about the stuff she is known to rap about today. No lyrics about her sex life or her private parts are in sight. I believe this song going viral is what led J Music to signing her as it was what brought some attention to her in the first place. She would sign in 2018 and her song Free Smoke would drop under J Rebel Music. J Rebel Music was behind turning Sexy Red from a nobody to this superstar as they constructed her image. They admitted that managing Sexy Red was a 24 hour task. They turned her into the rapper which is known for rapping extremely sexual lyrics. This label knew exactly what Sexy Red needed to represent to be signed by a major label and they turned her into that. The face tattoos, the look and the lyrics were all constructed by the record labels. By the time Sexy Red dropped Pound Town in 2023, it was released through Warner Music, which means the major labels were already behind it. Its virality was completely fabricated as record labels invest millions into TikTok marketing. Sexy Red's Pound Town took off on TikTok first, and this is because the major labels were behind her, working the song behind the scenes. All they have to do is pay some big TikTok influencers to use the song for some videos, and that's how they get her traction on TikTok. In 2023, she would also end up signing to a record label called Gamma, a new label that was created by Larry Jackson, who was the former Apple Music Global Creative Director. Gamma is a record label backed by a billion dollar investment from many big companies in the industry. Larry started his label in 2023, and Sexy Red was one of the first artists he signed. Larry is actually a very powerful man in the industry, a man with a lot of money behind him and a lot of connections. 
a man who can definitely take Sexy Red to new levels. He has been associated with artists like Snoop Dogg, Usher, Nicki Minaj and Drake. This is the reason we have been seeing Sexy Red everywhere and also why we have seen her with many big stars. Larry Jackson is actually great friends with superstar Drake, as Drake was once exclusive to Apple where they formed a connection. Drake even shouted Larry out in a song. This is the reason why an upcoming Sexy Red, who is still in the early moments of her career, ends up getting a co-sign from Drake. This co-sign alone put so many mainstream eyes on Sexy Red, and it was all fabricated by the labels. Larry also got Sexy Red a co-sign from Nicki Minaj, which also boosted her career when it comes to women. By Sexy Red signing with Larry, she now has the full backing of the mainstream machine behind her. This is why all eyes are on Sexy Red right now. It's because she was chosen by the elite in the industry. Her career did not take off organically. It was manufactured by men in suits in a record label. People are really under the impression that she is just acting like herself, when in reality, she is buying into the character the labels want her to be. You may be wondering, why did they choose Sexy Red to become the biggest artist of 2023? It all goes back to the agenda the music industry is pushing. Like I have said before, Sexy Red is the continuation of artists like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim, the three women that shaped and molded a generation of young women. Due to the music women like Nicki and Cardi make, they influence an entire generation of OF girls that we see today. Women who think selling their beauty online is an honorable way to make money. These women were tricked by these artists like Nicki and Cardi to think that what they were doing was liberating as they were using their body for what they wanted. In reality, this was all propaganda to further destroy the morals of women, pushing them closer to the Scarlet Woman mold. Cardi B herself was even used to push OF when it first got popular. The elite behind these artists have a specific agenda they want to push through these artists, and we are seeing this through Sexy Red. The moment Sexy Red signed to these major labels, she sold herself to them. They are now going to use her whichever way they want. This is why Sexy Red is now making songs about the color of her private parts and the fact that she has STIs. She routinely talks about being a promiscuous woman who is willing to do anything in bed. Everything she is doing now is associated with the image they created for her. A couple weeks back, it was reported that Sexy Red had a private tape of herself leaked online. People were shocked as it's not every day that an upcoming rap star's private tape leaks on the internet. Sexy Red came out and claimed that she was hacked and that's how the tape was put out. But me, I do not buy this at all. This again seems orchestrated by the label she is signed to. Sexy Red is being used to see how far they can push the boundaries. Those who run the industry want to know how much the masses would accept to determine how far gone they truly are. People think this tape works against Sexy Red. But in reality, this is exactly what the labels wanted. The latest news coming from Sexy Red is that she is now pregnant. Again, people thought that this would work against her career, but again, this is not the case. The labels behind her want Sexy Red to push this image. A woman who is pregnant after sleeping around with many different men and is proud of it. I wouldn't be surprised if they have her act like she doesn't know who the baby father is. This is what they want to normalize and make seem acceptable. This is why the labels are using Sexy Red and artists like her to glorify. Gamma is behind the scenes pushing Sexy Red to the youth. She is sadly a big influence for the young girls coming up. They look at Sexy Red and they love her for her wild antics and behavior. This is truly terrible as Sexy Red should be the last person influencing young girls. What's crazy is that Sexy Red was actually allowed to talk at a high school where she was presented as a positive role model. The same woman who sings the most expressive songs ever heard before is being praised in a school. Even more disturbing, there are several TikTok videos of teachers using Sexy Red song Ski as part of their lesson plan, getting the kids' attention with the Sexy Red song. I get my students' attention. If you see me and you're trying to see what's up, if your pencil sharpened, even though you're trying to say what's up, oh, that was.
was weak. Even though you're trying to say what's up. Yeah. Okay, everyone should. If you see me and you trying to see what's up. Yeah. I call your mama and I know she gonna pull up. Yeah. All right. If you see me and you trying to say what's up. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to pack up for the end of the day. This is how acceptable they have made Sexy Red's behavior. She's accepted and praised by school teachers. It's clear to me Sexy Red is a new Masonic puppet chosen by those in the industry. Soon, we will see her pushing Masonic imagery and displaying she took the oath. In my opinion, she has already taken the oath the moment she signed to Gamma Records and has been pushing subtle imagery, like in this picture with fellow industry plant Ice Spice where she can be seen placing the triple six hand gesture over one of her eyes. This is only the beginning for Sexy Red, as the bigger she gets, the more symbolism she will show. We also saw more subtle satanic imagery in her music video for Sticky Icky as she can be seen dressed like the devil with devil horns on her head. In one of her songs called I Love My Nickel, she even admits she is dancing with the devil. This song came out in 2018 after she signed to J-Rebel Music. Sexy Red is the perfect example of the Scarlet Woman Hollywood wants to turn women into. They are using Sexy Red to mold the next generation to be Scarlet. Aleister Crowley, who often spoke about the Scarlet Woman and claimed to have married a Scarlet himself, expressed that the Scarlet Woman would be sexually free and independent, just like the women being pushed through hip-hop. What's disturbing is that Crowley often spoke about catching diseases while doing his sex magic rituals. He was proud of them and spoke about it like it was nothing at all. It was part of his do-what-thou-will mentality. This reminds me of Sexy Red, as she proudly raps about what she called in her music. Sexy Red is an industry plant created by the elite in the music industry to further push their agenda. They are using her to push the morals of the Scarlet Woman onto the women of the new generation. We are watching this happen in real time. We must remember what purpose these artists have and we must not allow them to guide us away from God. We must remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. And we also must remember to help those who can't see the truth, find the truth. Well, 